Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Live review for January the 17th. I, yeah, the 17th, 2018. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So this is Theo Final Dame. Claire and Sierra, they started sudden, but it ended. Thank God ain't no hair had to be pulled or nobody had to be cussed out today. So that was good. And Bastard and Sierra got to say her goodbyes. Claire got in her ass about busting and they're not speaking or knocking on the door to let somebody know that somebody was in there. Sierra got her time. Claire respected her. She talked saying, I'm going to miss you. They hugged. They both cried, said what they had to say to each other. Um, do y'all know Claire or Lonnie pregnant? But see, that's about all what happened to Theo Minders that and him had me about the him he, he had me up the crying when he was leaving. I wish he would have took Claire with him, but it's only a matter of time for she be exiting in tune. Give us a whole year away from y'all y'all kids. I know Sierra might gonna stick around for a while cause she just came back. So I went for Claire and um Sierra to leave. I went I went for Claire to leave. Yeah, Claire. Anyways, just get into this. Um, Lonnie JJ pregnancy three rain circus, shall we? Nah, Eli, I know you ain't got no friends. I know you just finding out your newfound family in Salem. You telling all your mama your business, and I tell my mama some of my business, not all of my damn business, but God lay. And you trying to keep this secret that you and um, Lonnie had a thing and you trying to forget that night. Lonnie ain't going to forget that night. Lonnie got reasons, a thousand and one reason why she ain't going to forget that night. She might regret it now, but trust me, she ain't going to never forget that night. I know you want to stop and don't want to remember it, but like your mama basically telling you, you might well go ahead and tell it now. Better than it come out in the wash. Better yet, Val already know she pregnant, so no thanks to Abe. And Abe about to tell you in, um, Abe about to tell you in, um, who the hell came with you? Oh, he about to tell you and Valerie together, but Abe told her, can she keep a secret? So let's see how long her loose lips stay sealed. Not very long, so... Eli, I know you try to not remember this night. I know you regretting this night. I know you kicking yourself in the ass about this night, but that night going to hunt you for 18 years, and I hope you ready for it. Whether you want to be a father to this child or not, this that's going to hunt you, and I hope you ready to suffer the consequences because it's coming, Gabby. You already dealing with Chad and Abigail drama. Get ready for this one, because this one finna come out in the wash and hit you across your head, too. Because I told you not to do it. You went ahead and start with the Mara. Now look at you all up in that drama already. You ain't even much in the door yet and got the seat warm, and you already in some shit. So, I don't know which one gonna happen first. The whole um, Eli cheated on you, or... This whole Gabby, Abigail, and Stephen thing, how it's going to come out in the wash, but you're going to get hurt by one of the two. I'm guaranteed that Eli thing might not hurt you that bad because you don't really like Eli, do you, Gabby? He just uh, right there for you now, and you okay with that, and look like he okay with that, you being his right now and in the moment. You might have gave him some cookies, but you don't really love Eli, do you? Because he don't really love you how he just conveniently how he just conveniently believed that you was up there having sex with JJ and that they just got done having sex and how you conveniently went ahead and had sex with Lonnie. You've been fiending for Lonnie ever since she came into town. You've been wanting her. Now you finally got to that night. Now you want to talk about the night you don't want to remember. Mm -hmm. You and Gabby ain't going to miss you and she ain't going to miss you. She might hurt for a day or two, but she going to get the hell over it. Gabby's grown. She don't need to. Well, I wish she would have stayed strong and stayed firm in her word and not signed with the Mara. Hell, you should have went on here with Eve. I see more pluses with Eve than the Mara. Now that Steph is stirring the shit and stirring the pot and trying to make this whole Gab a Abigail, Gabby, and, and Chad drama start all over again. 
and using that to his advantage. So, Gabby, it ain't looking good for you. Look like you fit to get her either way. And I feel sorry for you about the Eli thing, but the whole Demare and Stephanie and Abigail and Chad thing, I ain't got nothing for you because you know what you was getting for when you signed them papers. You let Kate somehow convince you with, I don't know, money or promise you a nice paycheck or promise you some more um, resources or promise you something that you couldn't get over there on Eve's side. But good luck, honey. You going to need it when it comes to that um and Abigail, you can say what you want to you blue in the face. You were jealous when you saw Chad and Gabby hugging. You was a little jealous. Mm -hmm. Okay, little. Let's run with a little and see how far you're going to get with that trying to convince me and everybody else that it wasn't you didn't have them feelings and them old feelings popped up about Chad and um Gabby. you going to tell us that line. you going to lie in our face like that. Talking about saying you was a little jealous, but you was thinking about Stephen. Okay, Abigail, I guess. But yeah, and when it comes to you, Chad got you via the cheat, and he basically stole you from Ben. So it's about time he got his revenge back done, and him meeting somebody steal Abigail away from him. I mean, somebody steal um somebody steal Abigail away from Chad. So it was only gonna happen a matter of time. Matter of time, you know, Abigail can't resist a bad boy. Every bad boy she didn't been with, she didn't have fun with. So you can sit there till you wanna try to convince us otherwise, and act like you ain't interested in that man. You very interested in that man, and I can tell how you very interesting in that man with that whole well um well, how that scene went oh Chad and I mean Abigail and Gabby was up there talking about the um about her stall talking about the wigs and the shoes and how she came up with the concept and what every concept deals and Stephen came and asked how the meeting was going and then um you gave him a note or Gabby gave him a note and he said, I'll read it when I um get back to my desk. And do you mind if we go back to lunch? Do you mind if we discuss this over dinner? Now, Abigail, I don't know why you thought that was meant for you, him asking you to go out to dinner. I don't know what made you say, oh, he was talking to me, let me speak. I'm going to tell him, no, it's not going to happen. Trying to impress Gabby. Well, thinking you was trying to get impress Gabby. But you just made an ass out yourself, and you got egg on your face when he told him, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Gabby. And your face and that egg went sliding down your face. I know you felt foolish, didn't you? That man ain't that brave and that bold enough to do that to you. Remember, you like bad boys. Bad boys don't do shit like that. And you should have known that wasn't meant for you. But yes, you're going to talk about what you thought it was, though. Like I said, that whole Gabby and that chance situation in... It's funny. How long they ain't been married and they ain't yet been on no honeymoon yet? And mind you, you notice ever since they've been married, they've been going through it. Hey, y'all notice it too? Like, y'all any much, like, ever since y'all said I do, Ben showed up, y'all made it through that. Um, y'all were playing, um, ring, y'all were playing, um, uh, ring around the, the CEOs. You didn't know whether you was coming or going. Uh, Kate didn't know where she was going. Got Andre was messing with you and messing with your relationship with Abigail. And he didn't know what he was going to do. And he was trying to get an end with you. And you weren't giving him no end. Now here comes stepping fucking with y'all. So y'all ain't going to never get that honeymoon. The only way y'all going to get that honeymoon is when y'all do end up going to London or South Africa and put a week to y'all self. Hell, at least give y'all self like a week or so. I mean, it ain't got to be no longer tired month or two weeks. I mean, a good week of, of a honeymoon to do y'all some good because y'all can't be gone too far gone anyways because y'all got too much drama going on in. When you find out who really betrayed y'all, I can't wait to see y'all faces. I'm dying to see the faces. Uh, when y'all find out how um Stephanie and Vivian got this information they got, how they was able to use this information, what spot they hit and which spots not they hit. I can't wait till it all come out. I mean, I am dying for this uh, this um 
for this storyline to see how this going to end and how Andre going to end up dead and who did it and why. And I just can't wait to see all the results on the shots on people's face when they find out it was Andre the whole time betraying them. Chad, you need to lay off the whole Stephen thing and Theo thing. Well, not Theo ain't no problem anymore, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. And why you thought it was a great idea to show how insecure you was about Theo, we know you was there. We know um you supposed to be protecting Theo since um your sister died and... We know, we know you promised her that you were going to always be there for Theo. You are going to always protect him. And now you think Stephen moving in on Theo and now you feeling a little insecure about that and you had to go mark your territory with him. And not only that, mark your territory with him. Then you try to switch it around and say, well, Theo is a trustworthy, a trustworthy person. So if he said you good and you don't mean me no harm, man. You ain't the one attacking our family. I got no trust but to leave, believe you. Then you said that you sound awkward as fuck saying that. Not only when you said that, you went and... I guess you seen in your gut that he wasn't falling for that little con you had going on. You shook his hand and the nervous laughter and all that. I guess you saw you wouldn't get nowhere, so you decided to, oh, shit, I done fucked up. Let me go. Let me go call. I think that was John you was talking to with Vivian out there listening to you. Chad, this plan ain't going to work, and you ain't going to get nowhere with it. I mean. Chad, best thing you could do is protect yourself and why you worrying about Theo and Damara, which you should be worrying about um Damara. You need to be worrying about the woman you married to. That's who you all you need to be worrying about. Why you worrying about all this other minor stuff like Theo and you got him to open up via playing chess with you and how you let him win and sometimes you will win, but you'll pretend like you was playing hard, but not really. And that's when y'all have y'all little talks and when he open up to you and tell you stuff that he might not, may or may not tell his mom and dad alike. You worry about the wrong goddamn thing, Chad. I ain't saying yo, the woman you will fight for. I'm just gonna say she the top. You might wanna watch your back and make sure ain't no knife gonna get stuck. Make sure ain't no knife gonna get in your back while you up there worrying about the wrong damn things. Cause she will switch on you quick and in a hurry. You see how she switched the being to you in the court in a hurry. So, Chad, you better watch your back. That's all I'm going to say. That's about all I want to talk about. Like I said, it was a sad episode at the end. And Paul Theo, that king, want to go to their, um to South Africa. He crying his little eyes out. Had me up here tearing up. I had to get myself together before I got in front of this camera. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.